Hey guys, welcome to another Serverminder plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Cell GUI plugin. Now, this is a really simple and effective way for your players to make money in your server. So it allows them to mine items, make items, and sell them in a really simple, easy GUI. So there's two ways of getting into the GUI. There's the forward slash sell command, and there is the sign. So let's have a look at how we create the sign to begin with. Uh, so obviously we need a sign to start with. Let's go ahead and grab one. And once we've got this, we can pop it down and we need to do square brackets, sell GUI on the top line and hit done. And then it will look like this. In the config file, you can change a variety of things. So we're gonna check out that a bit later. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at this. So right click to go in there. And as you can see, there are three different lines. So we can pop in items like this, and let's pop in just the wood for now. And we're going to click sell items. Now this won't sell it, it will give us the total. And it will say 64 wood is worth $1,280. And then we can click the Emery block to confirm and it will sell, uh, which is really awesome. So if we go back into this now and put in something like oak wood, now I haven't configured this. So if we click sell items, it will say zero. And if we try and sell it, we won't be able to It'll pop back into our inventory. Now the way it works is you need to have each item with a price. Um, all the items are listed in the config file. You just need to set the price when you download the plugin. Uh, so if you do force to sell reload, what this will do is obviously reload the config file and allow you to sell sand. Um, so sand is worth $128. And if we do that, we can see, really easily sell the sand like that. Now, the other part of the plugin allows you to sell custom items. So maybe if people get custom weapons, custom blocks or whatever, they will be able to sell that for a particular price. So if you do four slash sell and then custom, uh, this is a pretty cool uh, feature. So you put all of your custom items in here, whether it's a sword, whether it's just a diamond, or whether it's simply a block of redstone and you click next. Now what that will do is send it to the config file or one of the files in the cell GUI folder and you'll be able to set a price there, which is really awesome. You can also blacklist blocks and whatnot and change a few other things. So we're going to have a look in the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Pitnik control panel and we are going to look at the config.yml first. So in here, there is a few things you can change. Uh, the most important thing here is obviously the sell prices of all the items. As you can see, most of them are set at zero. They're all zero by default, but if we look at the top, um, I've changed some of them. So there's 20 for wood and um, three for grass. And obviously this means per item. So if you have a stack, it will be 10 times 64, for example. Uh, and then up here, we have how the sign is formatted. So uh, we have each line and the colors and format codes. Here we have the blacklisted items. So at the moment you can not sell bedrock and obviously you could take any of these items and put them in the blacklist um, very, very easily. Then up here we have a bit more about how the GUI looks. So the text and the sell items uh, like this, which is pretty cool. Up at the top we have more about the GUI, so the title and how many rows there are. Obviously you could increase the rows so people could put maybe a thousand pieces of wood in there and sell it all at once if they've been chopping down a lot of trees. And obviously the pay message and title if you uh, use this with another plugin. But that is mostly everything for the uh, main config.yml. Obviously I mentioned there is the customs uh, custom item file, uh, which is here, customitems.yml. And in here, we have the first item. So I put in a redstone block, and as you can see, um, it gives all of this. If you had um, different metadata, if it had a display name, um, it would be there. So we could set a price maybe 10, and that will allow people to put in that custom item and sell it for $10. So that is how the plugin works. It's really easy to configure as you see. It works brilliantly and it's just an easy way for your players to sell all of their items that they don't want uh, for some money to use in the shop, for example. So you can download it for free down below in the description. If you want to check out more plugins, there is a playlist with a ton of other videos that I've done. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. Uh, but that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.